Good morning. Thanks for joining us here for the release of the HTV cargo vehicle. We're here live in the International Space Station Flight Control Room awaiting the release of the Conatori cargo vehicle and the beginning of the end for the HTV-6 mission. Earlier this morning, uh, flight controllers unbolted the HTV cargo vehicle from the Nader port of Harmony uh, just a little bit after 5 a.m. Central Time today. Ground controllers then maneuvered the cargo vehicle to its release position uh, at the tip of the row station's robotic arm uh, just a little bit after that. HTV is now in its uh, release position uh, with about five tons of trash inside. Everything on track. Release has been queued. Snares are open. Starting to see a little bit of motion. And we have a confirmed release uh, just as we lose some video communication, uh, but we do have a confirmed release at 9.46 a.m. Central Time as this station flies 261 statue miles over the South Atlantic Ocean. Now regaining some video communication, we can now see the HTV clearly separated, uh, free drifting away from the International Space Station now as the station flies 260 statue miles still over the South Pacific Ocean heading towards the west coast of Africa. Uh, HTV still looking good. That uh, first burn about to happen in just about a minute and a half. All the commands have been queued up, and we'll start to see the HTV slowly uh, drift away and conclude its uh, mission at the ISS. Station Houston on two for HTV. IDM-1 maneuver is loaded. Monitor per step 2 in 1.602. We were there. Thanks, Jessica. Jessica Mir confirming the uh, next burn. You'll start to see the HTV slowly move a little bit faster away from the station to uh, Shane Kimmerow and Tamar Pesquet aboard the International Space Station. That command being sent right about now. confirmation that that burn is complete. Now we'll start seeing the HTV uh, slowly start drifting away from the International Space Station outside the keep-out sphere, 200 meters away. Uh, that's when it's de declared safely away from the International Space Station and out of communications in case uh, an abort procedure is needed. Station Houston on two for HTV. Go ahead, Jessica. IDM one maneuver complete. Verify per step three in one dot six zero two. We agree. Verified step three. Copy. Jessica Mir, uh, Capcom here in Mission Control Houston, confirming with Shane Kimbrough aboard the International Space Station next to Thomas Pesquet. 
uh, confirming that uh, everything is going according to plan. That first burn is complete. The next burn uh, about to happen in just about eight and a half minutes. A good view of HTV uh, carrying one and a half tons of cargo, including some of the nickel hydrogen batteries that have been removed and replaced with some of the lithium ion batteries, way more efficient, that were taken up on HTV uh, when it launched uh, in December 9th of last year. The first burn is complete, the next burn about to happen after the hour. HTV. Uh, Concluding its mission, again, its release time was 9.46 a.m. Uh, Central Time today, flying 260 statue miles over the South Atlantic. Uh, for the remainder of its mission, uh, after this, it will conduct one more burn to get out of the keep-out sphere. Uh, then it will start manu maneuvering to position itself about 12 miles below the station and 23 miles ahead of the station to conduct the kite experiment uh, that will test uh, an end mass and some uh, electrodynamic currents. Uh, kind of looks like a kite, like the HTV would be fl flying a kite in space. Uh, it'll conduct that for about seven days right before deorbiting, concluding its mission uh, burning up over the uh, Pacific Ocean on Fe February 5th, uh, Super Bowl Sunday for those of you in the States.